Here's the two hydrogen A's, and they're attached to another carbon over here. And we know this carbon only has the one hydrogen. And notice that we do have now, um, now we've accounted for all three hydrogens. Now we've accounted for all three hydrogens, so what's this going to be attached to? So that's all that's left. I guess you were probably thinking there were two hydrogens here to get up to three, maybe. But we already have one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here, so we only need one hydrogen left. And now we're done. Now we have a complete three carbon chain over here. This would be hydrogen B. Let's make sure this matches up the characteristics of hydrogen B. Hydrogen B is supposed to be adjacent to two hydrogens, n equals two. Well, we've got that, one hydrogen on the right and one hydrogen on the left. So that n would match up. Uh, there's a single hydrogen in this group, that's right. And now what would we expect here for group B? Well, this 4.52 is in this region, so we would expect that this hydrogen would also be on a carbon that's attached to an electronegative element. Remember, again, I'm just writing EN for electronegative elements in this table down here. And there is this electronegative element down here. All right, so everything now matches up. So this is the right answer. Um, uh, and so A, OK. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, that was the two equivalent groups is what threw me off, the two right. equivalent A's. Yeah, so when we look at this, we can have to say to ourselves, this is either two hydrogens on one carbon or two separate hydrogens. This is the first time that we've actually seen that uh, a group that was actually split up like that, but we have to watch out for that. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit tricky here. My first guess might have been, well, the, 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 what was it that really had told us that they had to be two separate groups? This huge chemical shift. I think in this case, maybe um, the problem was that we weren't putting enough weight on the chemical shift at the start. A huge chemical shift like this seems to indicate that these hydrogens are on carbons with two electronegative elements. And once you see there's two electronegative elements here, you see they have, these have to be two separate fragments. So the big thing that we weren't paying enough attention to at the start was this very large chemical shift that indicates that we're attached to a carbon with not just one, but two electronegative elements. Okay. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.